I am out here with the JJRC Huron again, trying to get some kind of decent video. Simon's got the good one. I've got the turd, okay? He's got the one with the nice video. And mine has crappy video, okay? So, we're just gonna come spin it out here for a few more minutes and try to get some decent video out here. I figure if I should go, if I fly slow enough, maybe something will, decent will happen. I got 11 satellites you can see on there. So, let's start some video and take off. And it's in the GPS mode. Why my video looks like garbage and his looks great is beyond me. Yeah, it says ready to take off. That's what it says on the on the screen. It's got 13 satellites. You know, it does seem to fly decently. I just can't get it to um Can't get it to take any decent video. We'll see what it looks like when I get the video out. If you hold it still enough, you can get some decent video, I guess. Checked it says that I still got 80% battery.
and it does tend to when you're flying it it does tend to veer off from side to side there I don't it's kind of like the Zeno uh, when you would fly the Zeno straight I think for the most part they've that crab walking or whatever the hell they were calling it this kind of does the same thing to be honest um, Like I said, I'm just trying to get some video to look decent. I've looked for some updates for this thing, but I have yet to be able to find anything. Um, on it. To... Uh, update it with it does you know it seems to fly okay it's just that video you know i know i keep harping on it but that's just one of the reasons you want to buy it you know if the video on this thing is not any good there's no reason to buy it you know i mean to be perfectly honest Okay, I was going to try I was going to try to do some waypoints and stuff with this thing right now, but I guess I can't because I have to preload the maps because um, I guess it won't load the maps with the data You have to preload the maps at your house under the Wi-Fi. And the Wi-Fi signal right now is being tied up with the transmitter. Because this is one of them deals that um, does the, uh, the transmitter takes the Wi-Fi signal from the, the Wi-Fi signal it emits from the transmitter. And then that binds to the quadcopter. It doesn't do one of them where it binds right to the quadcopter it's one of those deals the um uh that little ladybug thing does it i can't even think of the name of that thing anymore i haven't flown it in a while that um uh, i just i'm drawing a blank right now it's that funny looking thing with the three bladed props the Jamie, the Jamie does the same thing. It has the same uh, story with that. Jamie is ready. So, anyway, the video has been running for I don't know about eight minutes. Yeah, I don't have a problem with this thing with the battery life. I was. I think the last time I took it out, I think I did get 13 minutes or something like that. But I guess this thing does have uh, like a follow me and some waypoints. So it does actually have those kind of features. Except I didn't know you had to preload the maps. I'm just finding that out today when I wanted to try them. That's how I'm finding out. So 
I guess Jamie is not ready. <laughs> okay, so we'll just have to live without it. But you know, it flies decent. Okay, let me prank take this back off here. Let me see something here. It has those wide ass turns. What if there's any setting in there for, oh, it says the battery's down to 20%. So I'm gonna land it up. I'm gonna stop the video now. This is a real adventure. Okay, that was pretty good actually. I gotta give myself props for being able to get it on there. Okay. <laughs> uh, battery power is lower than 10%. Well, it's not, it says 20%. So, oh well. Anyway, let me shut this off. So anyway, the maps are right here. It says before using the map function, disconnect the Wi-Fi and open up the map interface to load the map. See, it won't do, it won't show, any, show you any satellite view because you gotta do this where you got Wi-Fi. Let me, um, let me turn the controller off so maybe it'll maybe it would do it from the data. Okay, there it is. Okay, it'll do it from the data. Okay, now it won't let you do the waypoints unless you take off. So how are you gonna preload the that doesn't even make sense. Okay. So, I don't get it. Okay, there's your little halo for the amount of area you can fly in it doesn't even have the the right spot on the map to be honest with you the accuracy is way off on the map of actually where I'm at so I'm not exactly sure how to preload this maps I guess it has to be under Wi-Fi. I guess you have to have Wi-Fi. It won't. It'll show it on data, but it's not accurate. It's not where I'm really at. So I guess it has to have a Wi-Fi signal to suck in the data for the map, and then you program it, go take it somewhere. It all seems like a big pain in the butt, to be honest. But we'll try it. All right, guys. There you go the JJRC here on another try and we'll see what the video looks like. All right, have a nice day.